Hey everyone, it's M3 Seriously. So since we are basically at the end of 2016 now, I wanted to do just a little video showing you my top 5 new manga releases for the year of 2016. So these are series that have been released in 2016 uh, and are continuing, so they're still future volumes. And it's just basically my top 5 series that I've really enjoyed and I'm looking forward to new volumes of. So there are some honourable mentions that won't make this list, either because I have not read it or I have I don't own it. But these are series that I think that I will enjoy, I just haven't ha had a chance to pick them up and read them yet. So first up is Goodnight Pun Pun. I know I'm going to love this series, it sounds like a fantastic slice of life, but I'm really waiting for more volumes to come out before I pick up the series. So. I definitely think Goodnight Pun Pun would make this list if I had read it. Um, yeah, it definitely sounds like a manga that I'll enjoy, and I will be picking it up, hopefully when a few more volumes are released. Um, the next honourable mention is The Wandering Island. So this is a release by Dark Horse. There's only one volume out at the moment. I've actually ordered the first volume, but it hasn't arrived yet, and I probably won't get here until next year. But this sounds like a really interesting series about this girl who is looking for... She received this letter from her... I think it's her father or a grandfather, one of them. Um, from this address of this island and this island basically doesn't exist. So she's... It's about her story and trying to find this island and, you know, kind of cover where this message came from and everything like that. So it sounds like a really interesting story that I definitely think I will enjoy and... Yeah, that first volume could have made this list, but at this moment I have not read it. Um, there are also I've noticed a few other people who have been doing this video recently, and there are some series that are very popular at the moment, but these are series that don't interest me, or and I probably won't plan on picking them up, just because, yeah, they're not something that I think I'll enjoy, but they include um, The Abandoned Sacred Beast, Fire Force, Black Clover, I Am A Hero, and yeah, so they're like series that are very, very popular, but at the moment it's not something that I w plan to pick up anytime soon. But yeah, I've heard a lot of great things about them, so if you're interested in them, go check them out. They are some new releases. So yeah, my list will probably be a bit different to um, a few others, just because I have a different taste. But yeah, anyway, let's um, get into my favourite 2016 releases. So starting off at number 5, we have Welcome to the Ballroom um, by Tomo Takeuchi. So this is a sports manga of ballroom dancing of all things. Um, I was very intrigued by this because I really enjoy sports manga. So I definitely had to pick this up. So I'm just going to show you the bit of the cover. Um, beautiful cover by the way, it looks fantastic. Um, the spine looks great on the shelf and just the back. So I'm just going to read you the back blur because I don't want to talk about them too much just because I will be doing first impressions on all these volumes. So right now I'm just going to kind of read out what they're about, give you my little brief opinion, and then we will go on to... Um, and then in future videos I'll go more in depth about what I thought. So starting off, um, feckless high school student Tatira Fujita wants to be good at something, anything. Unfortunately, he's about as average as a slouchy teen can be. The local bullies know this and make it a habit to hit him up for cash. But all that changes when the debonair Kanem Sengoku sends them packing. Sengoku's not the neighbourhood watch, though. He's a professional ballroom dancer. And one Tatiru Fujita um, gets pulled into the world of ballroom dancing, his life will never be the same. So, yeah, <laughs> I was quite nervous about reading this because ballroom dancing is not a sport that I would think that I would, you know, get into. But after reading it, I did really enjoy the first volume. Um, it's something that I'm definitely going to continue picking up. Volume 2 um, should be here any day. But first up, God, the art is stunning in this. <laughs> Seriously. It's just so pretty and I really enjoyed it. Um, especially when they're dancing. I thought, I was kind of worried how it was going to look. But it looks great with the line the line work in it and it just looks really, really nice. Um, but yeah, overall, the main character, um, uh, Fujita, he's probably 
not as strong a protagonist as I wanted. But I think in the second volume he will kind of redeem himself. So yeah, it just kind of follows him and his story of, you know, trying to find where he wants to be in this world. And, you know, he's trying to figure out his path, what he wants to do in his life. And yeah, ballroom dancing has kind of come up and he's interested in it and he wants to give it a go. So yeah, I'm really intrigued for the second volume and it's something that I'm definitely going to continue picking up. So moving on to my fourth place spot, we have Honey So Sweet by Amu Meguro. So this is such an adorable series. Like I am currently reading volume two, but this this first volume, the first few pages, oh god it was cute. Like it really was. Um, beautiful cover again and the spines look great. So I'll just read a bit about the back. So little did Nao Kaguru realise back in middle school that when she left an umbrella and a box of bandages in the rain for injured delinquent Taiga Wanzi, she would meet him again in high school. Nao wants nothing to do with the gruff and frightening Taiga, but he suddenly presents her with a huge bouquet of flowers and asks her to date him with marriage in mind. Is Taiga really so scary or is he a sweetheart in disguise? So just the first page, like first, I think it's like the third page in. He's asking her, you know, they've never really spoke before. And he's already asking her, you know, to date him with marriage. And, you know, she's really scared of this guy. And really, this first one kind of goes into their initial relationship. Because she agrees to date him without even knowing him, really. And you just find, you just fall in love with Tiger, honestly. He is, he really is such a sweetheart. And oh, I just found myself, like, you know, kind of gushing at how cute he is. And he really is just such an adorable character. And I like how this volume kind of teaches, um, kind of like, don't judge a book by its cover, you know. You know, Tiger is kind of this really scary guy who has like these um, piercings, bright red hair. You know, a lot of people are intimidated by him. But in reality, he really is just this really sweet guy. And he's, you know, he cares about Naho and wants to be with her. And yeah. It's a really, really cute series. The artwork's really nice, and it's a really enjoyable shoujo. Um, there's currently four volumes out of the series. Um, volume 5 comes out next year. But yeah, still going to continue picking this up, because it is a very, very cute series. Moving on to my third place spot, we have, of course, Platinum End. In this really awesome holographic type rainbow cover. So this is obviously done by the famous duo Sugumi Oba and Takashi Obata, both the creators of Death Note and Bakuman, Death Note being one of my favourite series of all time. So <laughs> Platinum End was, you know, when I heard of its release, I had to get it, you know, automatically. Like, I didn't really even know what the story is about, but I had to get it, just because it's done by my favourite manga duo. So, yeah, I'll just read the back and... Um, a bit what of Platinum Men's about. So as his classmates celebrate their middle school graduation, troubled Mir Mirai is mirrored in darkness. But his battle is just beginning when he receives some salvation from above in the form of an angel. Now Mirai is pitted against 12 other chosen humans in a battle in which the winner becomes the next god of the world. Mirai has an angel in his corner, but he may need to become a devil in order to survive. So yeah, just that was very, very intriguing for me. Um... Yeah, like I said, I didn't really know what it was about. I just ordered the first volume. But no, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm really enjoying the story. Usually I like playing kind of slice of life type series. Um, which you can kind of tell by the other four volumes on this list. But I really um, am looking forward to the second volume of Platinum End. Of course the art is fantastic by um, Takashi Obata. Just obviously always on point. And yeah, just a really interesting first volume. And I am looking forward to the second one. Alright, so moving on to my second place spot for my favourite 2016 manga release. And that is Scum's Wish by Mengoku Yokuyaira. Sorry, Yoko Yari. I'm really bad at reading names. Um, so Scum's Wish was another series that caught my eye, mainly by this absolutely gorgeous looking cover. Um, it's one of my favourite covers I now own, and really, really nice release by Yen Press. 
And I really like how simple the um, back description is of it. It's not, you know, it's barely anything. So Miyugi and Hanabi are the perfect high school couple, that, but their relationship is built on a single set, single shared secret. They're both in love with someone else. You know, short and sweet, telling you what the story is about. Um, again, this was a really, really good first volume. It's definitely a story that I want to read and I really enjoyed. You know, it's something right up my alley, basically. Um, first up, the art is beautiful very clean very easy to read um you know easy to follow it's just stunning um overall very very good first volume i really enjoyed the story i really like how it goes into their relationship um it's very interesting i must say you know they're both together um in a relationship yet they both like other people so they're together and they're talking about the their crushes and their feelings with that yet they still have this kind of intimate kind of romantic relationship with this kind of no feelings there so yeah very interesting um first volume i definitely cannot wait for the second one um you find out a really good little twist in here um which i won't talk about in this one but i will talk about in my first impressions but yeah very solid first volume and it's definitely a series that i am going to enjoy and moving on to my number one favourite manga release for the year of 2016. And that has to be Haikyuu by Haruchi Furodate. So Haikyuu is one of my favourite series of all time. It is just such a fantastic sports manga um, and anime. Uh, season 3 just recently finished and god it was good. I was just amazed by how intense... Um, one volleyball match could get so if you haven't watched the anime go check out the anime so it was fantastic um, I am loving these monthly releases by Viz seriously um, just fat, just high such high quality releases really so I'll just read a bit what the um, the back of it says so ever since he saw the legendary player known as the little giant compete at the national volleyball finals Shoyo Hinata has been aiming to be the best volleyball player ever who says you need to be tall to play volleyball when you can jump higher than anyone else? After losing his first and final, oh, first and last volleyball match against Tobio Kagiyama, the king of the court, Shoyo Hinata swears to become his rival after graduating middle school. But after, but what happens when the guy he wants to defend, um, defeat ends up being his teammate? So Haikyuu basically follows um, Hinata, who's the main character. And he um, he wants to play volleyball so much when he was in elementary school. But basically there was no team for him to be there. So he was really keen to, you know, play his first match. And then he loses horribly, obviously, because his whole team was just useless. And they didn't know how to play. They were just kind of there filling in. Um, and Kageyama was on the other team. So then they both end up going to the same middle school. Um, sorry, same high school. Um, and yeah, basically kind of follows their journey into getting into the volleyball club. Kind of, the, I really love the developing of their relationship in it. You know, first off, they start off as enemies and then they start to grow. And, you know, there's six volumes released now and you can just see their continued development in it. So it's just really great. And you love all the characters. You love you know, you love everyone involved. It's really rare to basically like every single character in a series, but in Haikyuu, I can't pick out a character that I hate, you know. Even the side teams like um, Nikoma and Date Tech, all of them, I still like all their characters, you know, and that's a lot of characters to enjoy. So I definitely recommend Haikyuu. It is such a fun series. It is really enjoyable. I did not expect to enjoy the manga as much as I did the anime because I love the anime so much. I thought it was fantastic. But just the way that um, the story and the art work together in the manga, it makes it just as enjoyable and it really is just a fantastic series. Um, so if you're into sports manga or, you know, a series that really develops, the character development in this is insane. Oh, it's really great. 
you know, definitely check out Haikyuu. You know, monthly releases, you can't go wrong with that. And yeah, six volumes out at the moment, and I cannot wait for the next one. So Haikyuu being my favourite new manga for the year of 2016. So there you have it, guys. That is my complete five list. Um, I only did five because I don't really have, you know, ten volumes to make a ten, but I think this is a solid five for me. So um, just counting back, for number one we had Haikyuu, number two we had Scum's Wish, number three was Platinum End, number four Honey So Sweet, and number five Welcome to the Ballroom. So yeah, from that list you can definitely tell that I love Slice of Life type series. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to all new and future volumes um, in 2017. So yeah, that is my little list there, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did, so I know you enjoy it. Um, leave a comment, let me know what your favourite new releases are. And yeah, subscribe for future videos. Like I said, I will be doing first impressions on basically all of these. Um, I'm pretty sure all of them. And yeah, they'll be coming out in the next, you know, week or two. Maybe the first week of January, just because it's um, Christmas next week. But yeah, that is my whole list, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.